everybody so today I thought I would answer some requests and do reviews on requested products so I'm gonna go ahead and get started the first one that I had requested was from the Mac Tartan Tail collection and it's the six reelers and rockers eyeshadow palette this is what the package looks like in the box. Okay. And here's the palette. And here's the palette open. I'll let that focus in. I'm going to go ahead now and show you. This is the swatches for that palette. As you can see, they're pretty vibrant a lot of pigment to them again that's the six reelers and rockers All right. next we have again from the tartan tail collection the six beauties play it cool eyeshadow palette and this is the packaging it's very pretty here is the palette opened those swatches are right there Next is from the Magic Murph and Mischief collection from MAC. And this is the Fun in the Sun Mineralized Face Kit. And that's what it looks like. And comes with a little 180 special edition kabuki brush. Like that. And it comes with a foundation on that. Mineralized Skin Finish. This is called Champagne. And I'll show you swatches here in a minute of those. It comes with a blush. A mineralized blush. And... I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It looks like nonce, maybe. Nonce, if you can see that there. It's kind of like a peachy, golden tone blush. Very pretty. And then a mineralized eyeshadow duo. That's what it looks like. Opened. You have your eyeshadow and your highlight this is called play on plums the swatches for those Let's set this down so i can show you a little bit better uh shoot um you can see this is the highlight that's the eyeshadow <gasps> i just lied to you that's the wrong swatch how silly this is that palette here is your highlight your eyeshadow this is the blush and this is the skin finish and next we have the um pink's the poppin mineralized kit same basic design, only this one has a pink background. It also comes with a mineralized skin finish. And this is what, oh, still have the thing on. This is what that one looks like. This is called Light Flush. Also comes with a blush. This is called Dainty. I was obsessed with this blush for a while. I used to wear it every day. And the Mineralized Eyeshadow Duo. Duo. Huh. Said it too quick. That's what that looks like. It is called Love Connection. Back to this hand again. Ah, oh, feels silly. 
highlight the shadow. That is the, this is the blush. It's very, very um, sheer. And there's the skin finish. See? Um, it's Passions of Red. This is the Devoted Poppy 6 Classic Eyes. The packaging is beautiful. I don't have the box for it. I'm not sure what happened to it. But the packaging is beautiful. Here's those colors. Not really colors that you can wear together, but colors that you can play up a little bit. So that's what that looks like. Here's the swatches for those. You can see the top colors here are very sheer. And the green's very sheer. Because you can barely see those colors. But it is a beautiful palette. Next, we're moving on to the Pellerette palette. And we will start with... Well, might as well start with Trio 1. That's what that looks like. See it opened here. Those colors are so pretty together. Um, this charcoal color actually has glitter shimmers that are the same color as this middle one. It's very pretty. There's the swatch for that. You can see as I turn my arm in the darker color. The shimmers are showing through. It's very, very beautiful. And I think the more popular palette was the Trio 2 palette. Kind of reminds me of, it makes me think of roses. I'm not sure why, but that's what it makes me think of. So that's what that looks like. Just very girly the and fun. For that. The highlight is, it's sheer, but it's opaque as well for a highlight, but I think it's very, very pretty. The pink is slightly pigmented, just so that it gives a nice, nice shade of pink. And the purple is a bit dark. I wouldn't have wanted it to be so dark. Because it almost looks like Finally, a black. We have the famous Hello Kitty palettes. To Dolly. Which was, I think, the more popular one of that collection. Oh, here's the packaging. And open. I like the packaging because it has glitter kind of all around it. But these colors are just magnificent together. They're gorgeous. And here they are. Swatched. And you can see how um, the last two colors of the Trio 1 palette um, from Heatherette kind of imitate each other in the ones in the Hello Kitty. And that the Hello Kitty is more opaque. But it has the the black has the same um, shimmer in the two palettes, and the highlight is very skin colored, and the pink's a bit it looks a bit red on camera. It's not really that red and when you lastly, have it on. Lastly, for the palettes, we have the Lucky Tom palette. In which these colors are pretty together, but I do think that the two dolly is much more pretty and easier to work with. But very easy um, eyeshadow design with these colors. Okay, here's the swatch for those. Makes me think of 
maybe fall colors or Halloween colors, but it's very pretty. I'm going to try and do a tutorial on all these palettes coming soon so you can really see what they look like on the eyes. You can see the last two really have some glittery shimmers in there. It's very pretty. And I like that highlight. It's and the last thing well. that I had to do a review on is the MAC blot powder, but unfortunately I can't find it right now. I'm not sure what happened to it, but I'm sure it's just lurking around here somewhere. But, um, what can I say about it? Uh, I wear the light blot powder and um it essentially works the same as um you know like the blotting pads you can carry um either a brush with you all day or a little um one of the little pads that come with it and it throughout the day the oil comes through your foundation and your powder and it just works really well to even out the balance in your skin so that it's less oily and it just it works really really well if you're just using it as your powder I really like it for that um I like to use it with the mineralized foundation from MAC so you can kind of go off that, you know, but the best way is just to go out and try new things and just find what you like. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this video. I think my time's just about up. So if you have any more requests, just go ahead and ask me and I'll try to get it in as soon as possible. But thanks for watching and I hope this um, review video really helped you on deciding if you want to get these palettes or not. I'm sure that you can still find them on eBay and stuff like that. So good luck and thanks for watching. Bye.